In this Nuage tutorial, we're going to start using VCA faders, VCA channels. And for this example, I have an 18 piece string orchestra set up on the console, and we're going to use VCAs to control the various sections of the orchestra and then the overall level of the orchestra. So uh, to begin with, I'm going to go to the VCA section on the fader unit and uh, before we get started, I'm going to create the VCA channels themselves. We have four first violins. We have four second violins, three violas, four cellos, and three basses. So I'm going to want a VCA fader for each section uh, right there. So first violins, second violins, violas, cellos, basses. That's five VCAs. So here I am uh, going to add the five VCA faders. Now I have them down here. And what I'm going to do is name these VCAs for the section that they're controlling. So this is first violins, second violin. violas, cellos or celli if you were using the real Italian, bases. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the first violins and I'm going to select all four of them. Now I'm going to use the shift and alt modifiers to actually connect all four of those channels to the first violin VCA at once. I'm using the knob set up here, which I know you can't see, but basically it works just like routing uh, outputs or the sends. Um, in the same fashion, I can select the first violin VCA. Now to make it make sense, I'm going to bring that VCA fader um, up here where it's next to the first violins. Now watch this. Now, as I move the VCA fader, all of the first violins will move. And the cool thing here is I can change the blend of first violins. Let's say first chair is louder, and then we pull these down. The VCA will maintain the relative balance of those four channels together. All right, so I'm going to continue on now with the remaining sections and assign them each to their respective VCAs. Now for the violas, cellos, and the basses. Okay. And I'm also going to move those VCA faders so they are next to the sections that they're controlling. This is just my preference because uh, it makes it visually a little bit more easy to see like that. So now I've got basses, I've got cellos, I've got violas, second violins, I've got first violins. Now, if I wanted to hide the audio channels, all I would see are the VCAs. Now I just have the five VCAs and I can mix the entire string orchestra just by moving these five faders, which are going to control the groups of faders for each section. Now we can take this one step further and I can create a VCA fader that controls another VCA fader. So for example, I'm going to take the first and second violins and then create a VCA fader that controls them that is just violins. So I can control the entire section of violins with one fader. So I'm going to add that VCA fader. I'm going to call it as section. Then uh, I'm going to take 
the first and second violin VCAs, and I'm going to assign them to that violin section VCA. So now, with just that fader, I'm controlling all of the violins, all eight channels of them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a VCA fader that controls the entire string orchestra. So I'm going to go ahead and create a VCA. I'm going to name this orchestra. All right, so the quick way to do this is I'm going to turn off all the audio tracks or, or hide all the audio tracks. Now I'm going to have first and second violins. Well, they're controlled by the violins VCA. So what I need, I don't need to add these to this VCA. I just need to add the violins master to this VCA. So violas, cellos, basses, and violins. I'm going to select all four of them and then assign that those VCAs to the orchestra VCA. Now I'm controlling everything. If I bring back all the audio tracks and I take that orchestra VCA, lock it to this channel, no matter where I'm at, let's, let's do some blending here. Second violins, um, going to make some blends there. The viola, the cellos, I'm going to make a little bit of a blend here. Oops the cellos, then the basses. Well, the basses seem to be just fine like that. So now if I take the, the orchestra VCA and adjust it, you're going to see every channel going up and down proportionally. doesn't matter where I'm at. So now, with just these faders right here, I can control all aspects of the string orchestra. I can control first and second violins, violas, cellos, basses, the violin section, or the entire thing all at once. That's how VCAs work. One last thing I'd like to show you is the expand function will work with VCA channels. So if I select the first violins, and then I press the expand button here. What's going to happen is I'm going to see all the connected channels to that VCA fader. There they are. So if I went back and I selected the violins VCA and I expand it, I'm going to see all of the violins here because they're connected to this violin section VCA. I've got first and seconds independent with their own VCA, and then the violin section VCA controls everything. And then of course, the orchestra controls the entire thing all at once. So there you have it. That's VCAs on the Nuage fader unit and how you can connect them and also uh, connect VCAs to other VCAs. And what we call that is nesting VCAs. The uh, first and second violin VCAs are nested inside of the violin section VCA, and then the violins, violas, cellos, and basses are all nested inside of the orchestra VCA. So that's how it works. We'll be back with uh, more mixing tutorials. <laughs>